The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Romans. Well then, it was through one man that sin came into the world, and through sin, death. And thus death has spread through the whole human race because everyone has sinned. There is no comparison between the free gift and the offense. If death came to many through the offense of one man, how much greater an effect the grace of God has had, coming to so many and so plentifully as a free gift through the one man, Jesus Christ. It was by one man's offense that death came to reign over all. But how much greater the reign in life of those who receive the fullness of grace and the gift of saving justice through the one man, Jesus Christ. One man's offense brought condemnation on all humanity. And one man's good act has brought justification and life to all humanity. Just as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by one man's obedience are many to be made upright. When law came on the scene, it was to multiply the offenses. But however much sin increased, grace was always greater. So that as sin's reign brought death, so grace was to rule through saving justice that leads to eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And our response is from Psalm 40. Then I said, here I am, I am coming. In the scroll of the book it is written of me. My delight is to do your will. Your law, my God, is deep in my heart. I proclaimed the saving justice of Yahweh in the great assembly. See, I will not hold my tongue, as you well know. I've not kept your saving justice locked in the depths of my heart, but have spoken of your constancy and saving help. I've made no secret of your faithful and steadfast love in the great assembly. Poor and needy as I am, the Lord has me in mind. You, my helper, my savior, my God, do not delay. In a reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Luke, Jesus said, see that you have your belts done up and your lamps lit. Be like people waiting for their master to return from the wedding feast, ready to open the door as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed those servants whom the master finds awake when he comes. In truth, I tell you, he will do up his belt, sit them down at table, and wait on them. It may be in the second watch that he comes, or in the third. But blessed are those servants if he finds them ready the gospel of the Lord.